We have this from the New York Post. We got to get into it. Haitian migrants eating pets. Here's the even more serious story about immigrants in Springfield, Ohio. I'd like to show you this first. Savannah Hernandez says, still can't get over this Haitian dude walking around with an entire goose like it's a freshly prepared bag of Chick-fil-A. We are so cooked. I just, you know, I got ragged on for, for saying this. What is this? Got 9,000 retweets, 3.4 million views. I'm like, first of all, is it, is it, do we know that's a Haitian guy? I, it might be. I don't know. But it, it's just a picture of a black man with a goose. Okay, now, look, I know it's probably not the most probable outcome, but could you imagine if this guy's name, name is like Henry Smith and he just went hunting with his buddies? It's, it's Canada goose season. And afterwards, he's, he, he lives two blocks away. They drive back and they're like, do you want to, you know, treat this rabbit or like how are you? No, nah, I'll just carry it home. And then someone takes a picture of him and now they're accusing him of being a Haitian migrant who stole a goose. <laughs> I'm not saying that's true. I'm just saying we should wait till we know what this is, who this guy is or why he has the goose. OK, what? I don't, maybe he bought the goose from a goose store. I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. But the big story is in Ohio, locals are complaining that Haitian migrants are capped are catching ducks in the park and then cooking and eating them. And people don't like that. I just want to say one more thing before we get into the deep, deep dive on this. Like there's something funny to me about people eating dinosaur shaped chicken paste breaded dipped in ketchup, complaining about a man catching a bird to eat it. You know, it's like, I get it. It's not, it's probably illegal depending on where you are because there's restrictions on when you can hunt. People don't like it when you take the ducks out of their park or whatever, and they're federally protected. But it is funny that we're at this point where modern civilized society is like, Egad, he's he's caught a goose to eat. <laughs> and, you know, you go 100, 200 years, 100 years ago in New York, they'd walk outside their houses in New York, throw a net over a bunch of uh, passenger pigeons and just drag them inside and eat them. Sure, but in this case, they're talking about the ducks in the local park that probably everyone takes their toddlers to feed. I mean, it's it's more equivalent if someone stole your cat or do dog out of your yard. Then I don't care if you're eating chicken nuggets. I would also say, yes, very bad. We don't like this as a culture. No, I'm just saying We're it's We're sort funny. of staunchly against it. Well, yeah, the greatest but irony here is that these, these uh, companies that make the chicken nuggets and all of that, they actually mass employ illegal migrant, undocumented <laughs> migrant labor. So they're bringing over the migrants who are eating the real chickens in the fields while you're eating the paste, right? Well, you don't want to eat, you know, they say about when you're making something, you don't want to see it. You get yeah. This is really a story about the rising cost of living in all certain communities. People have to go hunting for their own ducks and how desperate some migrants apparently are. If he is, this is Bidenomics. Migrant. This is Bidenomics right here. Yep. Yeah. Let me play this video. I think I think they'll play the audio of this guy. And I'm a social media influencer and I just be on TikTok and stuff. I do YouTube. Um, I think it's like kind of odd that like a guy like me has to come out from doing what I do on a daily basis to have fun. Cause I see what's going on in these streets and I see you guys just sitting up there in them comfy chairs and suits and like, and I'm getting out here every day and I'm broadcasting this and you guys are just sitting up there in suits or something. Like I, I really challenge you guys to get out here and do something. These Haitians are running into trash cans. They're running into buildings. They're running into, they flipping cars in the middle of the street and it's nothing but immigrants over there. And I don't even want to like, seem like I'm coming down on the immigrants because it's the people that's bringing them down here because wherever they're at, that's what they're used to, bro. They're in the park grabbing up ducks by their neck and cutting their head off and walking off with them and, <laughs> and eating them like... Donald Trump's decision to... I don't know. It's a wild story. I mean, and the media is losing their mind. Look at this one. Has anyone Trump remixed that yet? That would be a great... Re it's like, hide your kids, hide your wife. Here you go. Trump hide campaign amplifies false claim about Haitian migrants in Ohio. A local official said there was no evidence that migrants have stolen and eaten pets. An outlandish claim amplified by the Trump campaign on Monday. And of course, has a picture of J.D. Vance. What is this, Springfield, Ohio? I think there are a lot worse crimes going on in Springfield, Ohio. I could be wrong, though. So, Dude, so, I don't but, know. But, I don't okay, like okay, that people are snatching pets. This is, I, I want to make sure we get this. Job opportunities in Springfield have attracted thousands of Haitians since the pandemic, with city officials estimating that as many as 20,000 have arrived. By most accounts, the immigrant community has helped revitalize the town, though it would, has put pressure on housing, schools, and hospital. hospitals. Springfield has roughly 58,000 people as of the last census in 2020. Resentment has also brewed among some residents over immigrants' presence, and those emotions have bubbled over since an immigrant driver was involved in a fatal school bus, cra uh, school bus, cr uh, bus crash last year. 
Mr. Vance has latched on to the complaints of the community and denounced the Asians as being in the United States illegally draining social services and generally causing chaos. I got to tell you, are, is the New York Times saying that locals are complaining about this? Yeah. I mean, we just played a video of a guy saying, hey, man, they're, they're catching ducks. Well, he's just a local resident, whereas a local official said it's not happening. So, so it's it's uh, really who can you trust here? You know, immigration, there are obviously a lot of issues with illegal immigration and how cultures mesh. But I th I'm looking up Springfield, Ohio, and I think they have an extremely high gun crime rate, too. So, they're, you know, this duck issue and how the migrants are getting along with the natives in uh, this town are an issue. But... Um, Maybe there's more of a problem with gunplay in the community. Uh, they formed they an immigration and... task force in 2023. I mean, obviously absorbing, you know, if in the in uh, 2020, it was 58,000 people and they absorbed basically, uh, you know, half of or just under half of that population. Again, that's pretty significant. Uh, I know that the line is that immigration is here to save us from our collapsing <clears throat> birth rates and, and dying towns. I just don't know that that's the case. If you have an immigrant population that is um, not here to assimilate and live by the values, right? Like, and, and I'm not even talking about the goose snatching and the kitten snatching or whatever it is. You know, if you have uh, a group of people that, you know, don't want to speak the local language, they don't want to abide by the local laws, Yes, you might literally be filling vacant houses. On the other hand, you are causing other issues for your community. I could understand the residents' frustration. Being told constantly, like, no, they're they're fine and immigrants are a blessing is is making it worse. It's making it more difficult for everyone involved. Well, so this is a uh, in a county that 60 percent supported Trump in 2020 and 37 percent is Democrat. I have to imagine those 37 percent Democrat are now all Trump supporters. I, we'll have to know, keep track of how they vote. In the upcoming the, a, one of the lines I'm seeing from a lot of people is that the Biden administration brought these migrants into a Trump, uh, a largely Trump supporting town. Mm. I just want to say, I mean, if this guy is saying, I don't even want to say it's the immigrants. He's, he sounds like he's more of a Democrat leaning guy. He's pissed about this. All this stuff does is create more Trump voters. When when you go to Chicago, there was a that viral video where the black community members were saying they were being replaced. Yeah. OK, you put illegal immigrants in their schools and they wonder why they can't go to the gym, why they, they can't bring their kids there anymore. They're going to vote for Trump. Not all of them, but it's going to create Trump support. So I, I don't I don't look in the long run. It's a bad thing, but it results in people saying fix it and going to the guy who they think can. Do you think we'll get a, a pushback from Democrats saying, look, these people are just hunting public ducks and that's OK. <laughs> and that's why, you know, you don't need your guns. You could just catch things by hand because these people are doing it. I mean, I think that there are a lot of ways to spin this argument, you know, for and against what's happening here. On the other hand, uh, I think it's really asking this town, which we're already acknowledging is is economically disadvantaged to pay the price for uh, federal fight over whether or not we should allow Haitian immigrants in. And, and, you know, to uh, you look at the type of story it is, this is not an isolated incident as far as we understand migrants in the Western world, especially illegal, especially recent, um, having, you know, taken part of things like this. We've seen it in Europe. We see it in England all the time. Um, there, the, it, look, I don't know whether that guy with a goose was a guy with a goose or whatever, but the, the fact is it, it doesn't seem to stretch credulity. And a lot of people will look at that and be like, yep, sounds about right, and kind of move on with their day, right? And we shouldn't even be in that situation. There no. shouldn't, just, this should not be, a, this should not, this, Tim, is what I would have said probably could not have predicted 10 years ago, <laughs> is you putting that up on the screen right now. I was just curious. I just uh, asked ChatGPT if you could catch a goose the way you would catch a fish. And it was like, no, of course you can't. You know, uh, geese required to be trapped or hunted in different ways. And then I said, yeah, but like if I tied food to a fishing line and it ate it, couldn't I like reel it in? And it was like, technically, yes, that you <laughs> could. But, you know, we, you shouldn't do that. And I was just, I don't know, you know, I'm just thinking about it because you, you mentioned in catching a, uh, a goose in the park. There are parks where people go fishing and it's catch and release. So, I mean, is catching releasing the ducks a bad thing? He's not really releasing it to the park, though, if he's walking it across the I'm not like, saying crosswalk. that. I'm saying if you walked up to a duck and picked it up and they're like, look, I, I got a duck, and you let it go, I don't think anybody would care. I'm in Catch favor of free-range foie gras, I'll tell you. That's fine by me. I'm, a, I'm against catch and release. I don't know. I just think it's, it's funny. Look, I get it. When you say we bring our kids to the park and they watch the ducks and they feed them and stuff like that, that's 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 the not normal thing that in all of human history. That was never the case. Humans would go and they'd see a duck and they would jump out of the bushes and whack it with a stick and then eat it. 
the, the idea that we're in this modern society where we can sit at the park and just look at the birds and be like, look at that. We don't care. We have so much food. That is the new modern society abnormal thing that's normalized. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying we shouldn't enjoy the ducks in our park. I'm just saying it's funny because these guys coming from Haiti or wherever they're coming from are being like, it's it's a bird. We eat birds. I don't know. We're suffering from our success here in America. See, that's what's weird. Where to we me, forget though. that this is food for people. Well, I don't know that we do because you're not going to the pond and taking out the local the local. But duck I would or whatever. maybe it's, if it duck, was kosher. Duck I hunting is common in America. People still do this. It's not that we stopped hunting. We mm. it's still a common practice. People still hunt deer, even though we don't get it as sort of a grocery store meat. Uh, what's stranger to me is that you would have someone who has arrived in America and is like. Well, I'll just continue hunting from the local public park. Like, wouldn't you think at a certain point you would hope that you'd be like, you don't need to do that anymore. That one we just let hang out here. Look, I'm saying this is, have you guys seen the big short? Yeah. Yes. When you, that scene where he explains how they've put all of the low credit score, garbage rated secu- uh, mortgages into the nice ones to make it look like it's nice. Basically, they're like, hey, 100% of these are good. Put 20% bad ones in and it's an 80% good security. And that's. We can monetize the garbage. What we're seeing now is in order to maintain the economy because of a declining population, Democrats are largely saying just let all of the uh, migrants come and enter the border illegally. Then they become illegal immigrants. The problem is you, you're, you are not you're, you're basically taking. Th- these are people with obvious lower, lower credit ratings, low skill. You're displacing low skill labor. It only will work in the short term until you will get the big short housing equivalent of the entire U.S. economy. Thanks for checking out this clip from Timcast IRL. Make sure to watch the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Subscribe to this channel and we will see you all there.